Ladies and gentlemen, today we are reviewing the Taste Makers Kit by Liquid Barn. So let's get right into it. This is the Taste Makers Kit by Liquid Barn. And with Liquid Barn, it's no wonder why they give you so much stuff for so little money. I'm gonna have to break this down one by one. First, let's look at the flavor cartridge from the Taste Makers Kit. The first thing to come in is the flavor concentrate. I picked strawberry cheesecake. Now on the strawberry cheesecake flavorings on the side, it says ingredients, the specific gravity, which is 1.06 grams per milliliter, and then it has a warning saying concentrated flavorings do not ingest directly not vape ready keep out of reach of children and pets and also very importantly it has the suggested starting percentage which is 10 percent now if you flip the other side of the bottle it has all of liquid barns facebook twitter instagram also has its website also says it's manufactured by liquid barn llc and most importantly as well it also has a batch number and best buy number i think that's a really nice Nice touch. Now moving right along, it comes with also with the Taste Master card. And with the Taste Maker's card, the, it first says, determine your flavor strength, add desired amount to bottle, shake, steep, and repeat. And it says four taste makers on the bottom. So it's giving you a little bit of direction there. Now if you flip the card over, it says, check your flavor concentrate for the recommended starting percentage. Hold your bottle against this card and measure to the desired percentage. Fill the rest of the bottle with your desired liquid. Please note the measurements indicated on this card are only for the 30 milliliter unicorn bottle provided in your order. For other bottle sizes, calculate and measure your liquid amounts by weight or volume. For more information, please visit www.liquidbarn.com. And then if you notice on the side, it comes with a nice shape of a unicorn bottle with percentages starting from 0% to 100%. Now on to the unflavored e-liquid kit. They give you a 500 ml bottle of unflavored e-liquid. They offer ranges between 0 3, 6, and 12 milligrams. And based on price, it goes up 50 cents every time you jump an interval of nicotine, which is not bad at all. It's a very good deal. Uh, the particular one I have is a 0 milligram nicotine, and it is an 80-20 blend. Okay, guys, so here we are down below at the Liquid Barn Taste Makers kit. So right here, we have the base, the unflavored e-liquid that they provide you with now if you look over here at the flavor kit it comes with this card right here and as I showed you earlier in this video it has a little bit of information on how to mix over here it gives you a little measuring card so you can line up your bottle like so and you can find out how many percentages you want to put in so say you want to do the recommended percentage which is on the bottle right here it says recommended percentage is 10 percent so to do 10 percent what you do is you take the little tastemaker card you put the bottle up to it and then you look for 10 percent and fill to the line now what I like about this kit already is the fact that they're using Gorilla bottles, Gorilla Unicorn bottles, and when that's good is those are widespread, so in other words, they're not proprietary. Therefore, you can buy them online pretty much anywhere or in your local vape shop. They're very common bottles. So that way, if you want to make more than one at once, you're golden. So now, let's just see how easy this is to make. Alright, so say I was the beginning mixer... I want to mix this. I do love a lot of flavor, but say say today this is my first time, which it's not. Let me let me just add this real quick. I already have this flavoring. This is the strawberry cheesecake flavoring. It's the same exact flavoring that's in this 60 ml bottle. A while back during Black Friday, I bought the flavor kit. Um and I bought the flavor kit with uh 10 samples of their liquids and by far strawberry cheesecake was my favorite 
I vow on this channel not to put anything from any company that I don't personally stand by. And this one right here, this strawberry cheesecake, is top notch and can hold its weight against many other brand flavorings. So therefore, I had to add it in this video. So, because I already had the flavoring, I know the manufacturer recommended that I let it steep for a week before I judge it. So, right when I found out this kit was being sent to me, I mixed up a bottle so I could have one all steeped and ready to taste it with you guys and also compare it to when it's freshly steeped and uh, when it's freshly made. So, back to the mixing. Let's just mix this up real quick. So basically, you get your card right here, and it has all your measurements, and you get your bottle. So let's take the cap off. Now, I already took all the, the sealing off the bottles right here. Now, see, that's what I love about Liquid Bar. Not only do they package their stuff really nice, but also every individual bottle they have, they seal it for you. So it won't leak, it'll stay fresh, it's just a really nice touch. So, you want to always make sure you're shaking your concentrates before you place them in your bottle. So just make sure you shake it up really nice. Then you're going to want to pour this in. You know what, I'm going to see if I can get a better camera angle so you can watch me pour this liquid in. So, give me one second. What I got is the card right here. So the recommended percentage is 10%. So you can see it on that line right there. It says 10%, right? So now you take your bottle. You're going to want to line it right up with the card. We will get this, guys. It's hard to film, but we'll get it. They make this so simple. Like I couldn't believe just how ingenious this was. It makes it so you don't have to use any syringes. It's straightforward. You just put the card up to it and fill it up. So now let's take our flavoring. We've already shaken it up. And let me tell you, this stuff is wonderful. This strawberry cheesecake. Okay, now we're going to pour it in to 10%. And I think we're about there, guys. Maybe a couple more drops. Alright. So, I think we're there. Now we're at 10%. See how it's right up against the line? And that's how much flavoring we put in. And that's all you gotta do for that part. That's how you're gonna measure this with the Taste Makers Kit. So now let me prop you guys up a little bit. And I will fill you the rest of the way with DG. I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back up top, and now it's time to put the uh, unflavored e-liquid in. And again, I'm using a zero milligram, and this base is at 80-20. We'll say it right there. Let me just focus. See how it says 80-20 right here? That shows you your VGPG content. Now, here's the thing to keep in mind as well. Since the recommended percentage is 10% on this flavoring, the strawberry cheesecake, you're going to want to count that as PG. At least that's the general rule of thumb. So you're going to want to add, uh, subtract that from the VG total. So in other words, this is going to turn out to be a 70-30 mix. Which is not bad at all. Okay. So now let's just take this top off. Okay. Take this top off. Alright, and as I said, I already opened it up. Now I'm just going to put the twisty, tab, twisty top on. Alright. Now I'm just going to open it up. And now I'm just going to fill this bottle the rest of the way. And it's very nice and easy. Goes in there very nicely. You might want to leave a little bit of room to shake. I'm going to leave that much room. See how I left a little bit of room at the top? You can fill it all the way and shake, but I'm going to leave a little bit more room. That way, 
it's a lot easier to shake. Okay, now I'm just going to put the top on, like so. Put the cap on. Now I'm going to shake this up really well. You want to make sure you get nice and blended so there are some air bubbles in it. And I will meet you back up top and I will compare the weak steeped one against this one, how it's freshly done. And what you can expect from a week's time and what you can ex expect from vaping it right off the bat. We'll also discuss the benefits of using a kit such as this. My pros and cons and what I love about it. What I might not like about it. And all that great stuff. So I'll meet you right back up top. Okay guys, so we're back up top here now. Um, it's, try it's time to sample the product. So here's the one that was just made. And here's the one that was been steeping for about a week definitely got a color difference in them um the manufacturer did liquid barn did send me this product for review and um they suggested that since i requested the strawberry cheesecake which i'll tell you why in a second but they suggested that i let it steep for a week but i already had the flavor so i let it steep for a week and then i just made this one fresh this one actually has about a two day steep on it um, it's just a matter of when I filmed the previous part and this part. So this has a two-day steep on it, and this has a little bit over a week steep on it. And you can definitely notice the color difference. Also, I did put nicotine in this one, and this one does not have nicotine. It shouldn't affect the flavor too much. But I want to do this so I have an honest opinion about both of them. But I already know how I'm going to feel, but I'm going to do it in front of you because I would not have asked for this flavor unless I knew it was great. And as I told you guys before, on this channel, I vow only to put things on my channel that I can stand behind. I've learned my lesson a while ago. I don't want to get into it, but what I can say is any product you see here is top notch. Top notch. So let's try this out. So, and by the way, this kit, it only cost $15.49, and that's for the zero milligrams. And then as I said... It goes up 50 cents. So say if you get a 3 milligram one with a taste ma uh, maker kit, it comes with all of this, but it goes up 50 cents. So 3 milligrams is 50 cents. So that's what? 15.49 for this one. So it's uh, 15.99. And then it goes to 16.50 and up like that. So under the cost of a 30 mil bottle that you get from your mom and pop vape shop. Think about that for a minute. And then if this one is 10%, that means you can make 10 of these before your flavor will run out. So 10 bottles for less than the price of one. That's a deal. That's a deal. And not to mention this strawberry cheesecake, this is among the most raved about single flavoring from their company. At least that's the underground stuff I've read from Reddit and stuff like that. And I have to agree with them. It's a great single flavor. It, it tastes... To me, it tastes a lot like a strawberry shortcake, but let's get into that in a second. I'm going to drip this on here. This is the one that's been steeping for a week. This one is in. So I'm going to put it like this. Okay, and now I'm also going to drip the one that we just made here so we can compare the two together. That way, you know, if like you have no juice and how you're going to and you're going to vape it really quick. Let's say you have no juice, you need something, you need to whip it up, you forgot to mix some or you forgot to buy some, you'll have this on standby. You know how good it will taste right off the bat. Plus, I love these Gorilla Unicorn bottles. And the best part about this all is it's perfect for beginners. Like, it's no nonsense. It has everything you need. They, they did it in such a way that made it so easy. You don't have to worry too much about all these different flavors. That's another part, too. You got 60 mils of flavoring. That's a lot of flavoring. 
I mean, you can do so much with that. You can even get more flavorings, start messing around once you feel more comfortable. I think that's one of the coolest parts about this whole thing. Okay. So here we go. First, we're going to try the one that we did right away. So this is the one that is pretty much freshly made. I mean, it does have two days since filming. So, I mean, it does have two days. But two days and when it requires at least a week steeping, it's still pretty much brand new. This should give me a good idea of what it's like freshly made. Oh, yeah. It's such an excellent flavor, like, how do not more people know about this? I mean, it tastes like a strawberry cheesecake in a single flavoring. And it's cheap. This tastes better than some of the juice that I've bought, a lot of the juices that I've bought. Mmm. If you're not DIYing, you're not living, I'm telling you. You're spending way too much money. You haven't tried this. All right. So that tasted excellent. And that was about two, two, three days steep. Now let's try this bad boy. This bad boy has a week. Here we go. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah, the strawberry, the strawberry and a little bit of graham cracker note in there. It's more defined. It's a lot fuller and richer. Oh, guys, guys, even if you're an experienced DIYer, go buy this, seriously. What, $15.49? Well, 16 bucks for uh, a three mil? Now think about that for a minute. Say by the odd chance that you don't like the flavor, you're going to have all this base to use. But I guarantee you, at least if you pick strawberry cheesecake, you're not going to regret it. And I hope I have I have the opportunity to review more of these flavors. Because so far, I'm loving what they're offering. And now say, you have the strawberry cheesecake right here. You can get their strawberry, add that in. You can get their baker's touch, add a little bit of crust. There's so much more you can do. And you know what? Perhaps I will make another video on showing you how to do that and show you how to use multiple liquid barn flavors and make a good mix. But for beginners to dabble their feet into DIY for under 20 bucks and get you 10 times the amount you would have normally got, come on, guys. I don't have to tell you any more than that. This tastes like a premium liquid. There's no difference. This tastes better than premium liquid, and I'll tell you why. Because say, say you like more flavor, you can add more flavor. If you don't like it and it's too much flavor, you can take flavor out. You can make it sweet. You can make it not sweet. You can do whatever you want because you're doing it yourself, and you're saving tons of money while doing it. So, guys... I hope you like this review. I'm only going to give you honest and fair reviews here. And I only will put things on this channel that I can stand behind. And that's the bottom line. Because you know what? You guys mean more than to me than these companies. No offense, Liquid Barn. But thank you very much, Liquid Barn, for sending me your product. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the review. It was a fair and honest review. I really like this flavoring, and I really think this kit is a neat idea. So anyways, if you guys are new to this channel, hit that subscribe button so you get notified on my new videos and all my other DIY work. And if you like this particular video, make sure you put a like on it. And thank you guys so very much for watching. It all means so much to me, and you guys have yourselves a great day.